everyone and welcome back to my doll studio. Today I will show you how to make a wig like this. I don't want to make a very long introduction today just to say you that you can use this technique for every kind of dolls. You can find the full list of all the materials I use in this tutorial down below in the description. So I hope you will like this video and here we go! Let's start making the cup for the base of our wig. For this first step, you need to wrap the head of the doll with two layers of kitchen plastic. Then, do the same with the wet wipe. They are pretty elastic and easy to work with for this purpose. Using rubber bands, carefully fit the wet wipe to the head. Try not to leave wrinkles and put the special attention to the ears area. Cut off the excess of the wipe. Now, using the brush and water, wet the cup. And once it wet, cover it well with white glue. Remember, you can find a full list of materials I used for this wig down in the description. Once it dry, cover it once again with other layer of white glue. And once it dry at all, let's start to make a wig. Firstly, let's cut the form of the hairline of the doll very carefully. You can use some marker to draw the hairline. Then remove the plastic from inside and the cup is ready. From this step I will work with another doll head. I need to cover the cup with similar color of the hair. Let's separate the area of the shaped temple and cover it with other color. Don't forget to keep the head safe under some layers of the plastic. I use brown color to simulate natural hair roots color, but you can use any color you want. And the rest of the head I cover with green acrylic because of the green hair I choose for this wig. Once all cup is covered, let it dry. And once it dry, let's draw the guides that will help us to glue the hair. I use white pencil because it easily removes from this surface. And now we can start glue the hair using this silicone transparent glue. Separate little strands of hair, cut the edge and add the glue. Use some tool to distribute the glue along the drawn line. And glue the hair strand, very, very carefully. And repeat this process many, many times. You can use water to get your fingers wet and avoid the silicone sticks to your fingers. Pay attention to the direction of the hair. And let every layer dry before starting the next one. Repeat and repeat the same process. Thank you. 
and let dry every new layer. So we have to cover all the head with hair using this technique. I will not comment every new layer I make because it's the same procedure all the time. But I take a chance to tell you that I'm already working on new crinoline tutorial. All it's already recorded. And I'm thinking about to make some other short tutorial. Would you like to know how to make this bright gradient colors on natural gold or alpaca hair? What do you think? Don't leave empty spots and let dry every new layer. Pay attention to the direction of the hair. I decided to add some locks of different shade of green, just little details. And sorry for these fingers, I had an accident in my garden this morning. And now I will continue gluing hair to the cup. Pay special attention to the top layers, they are more visible.
One more time, fingers wet, hard direction. And keep these tips, we will use them later. So, the wig is already done, now let's iron it a little and make the shaved temple. I use this mini iron for doll fabrics to make wigs. For this next step, we will use some locks of dark green and brown hair and cut it many, many times to create this flock powder. Now let's apply glue to this area and then cover it well with the flock. Let it dry and then remove the excesses with some brush. Now I remove the head and cut the excesses of the flock from the edges of the cup. In this point the wig is already finished, but I would like to add this ground roots effect. I will use acrylic paints diluted with a lot of water, but it's even better to use textile markers for this purpose. It's important to blur well the pigment. I use napkins or even my own fingers for this.
I let it dry again and then I will add these leftover slugs to the inner side of the wig. I will glue them to the edge of the cup inside of it. The result is like this, but sorry my camera don't record this step. And now it's time to style our wig to add more volume. I will use this hairbrush and extra strong hairspray. and I will work only with the roots area. So, after several minutes of styling, the wig is finished. Let's see the pictures. I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please give me a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, leave me some comments with some new ideas of new tutorials you would like to see here in my channel. Uh, this is all for today, I will see you in my next tutorial, it will be very very soon and remember, always have fun creating! Bye!